The recent reports suggest that the Norwegian army intends to update its armoured fist, replacing the ageing fleet of Leopard 2A4 medium battle tanks. The army has to choose between the two tanks, the South Korean Black Panther K2 and the German Leopard 2A7, which were adapted to local needs. But first, let us take a dip into both the tanks and let us look what their capabilities are in the best. Talking about the Leopard tanks, it is armed with a 120mm smoothbore cannon and is powered by a V12 twin turbo diesel engine. Various versions have served in the armed forces of Germany and 13 other European countries as well as several non-European nations including Canada, Chile, Indonesia and Singapore. Now the Leopard 2 uses spaced multi-layer armour throughout the design. The armour consists of a combination of steel plates of different hardness, elastic materials and other non-metallic materials. The Leopard 2A4's armour has a maximum physical thickness of 800mm while the side and the rear of the tank protect against heavy machine guns, medium calibre rounds and older type of tank ammunition. The side of the hull is covered by armoured skirts to increase protection against projectiles and even RPG. The Leopard 2's design follows the concept of compartmentation. Possible sources of fire or explosion have been moved away from the crew. In the turret, the ammunition and the hydraulics are located in compartments separated from the crew. So, in case of a detonation, the blow-off panels on the compartment roofs will direct the explosion and fire away from the crew. The crew is also protected against nuclear, biological and chemical threats as the Leopard 2 is equipped with a Dragger NBC overpressurization system. Coming to the primary armament for production versions of the Leopard 2 is the Rainmetal 120mm smoothbore gun, the same gun later adapted for the use on the M1 Abrams in either the L44 variant or the L55 variant. The Leopard 2 is equipped with two machine guns, one mounted coaxially and the other on an anti-aircraft mount. German models use the MG 37.62mm machine gun, while the Dutch and Singapore models use the FN Mag 7.62mm machine guns. Swiss models on the other hand use Swiss MG 87 7.5mm machine guns. 4750 rounds of machine gun ammunition are carried on board the Leopard 2. Now considering all the variants, the most widespread version of the Leopard 2 family, the 2A4 models included more substantial changes including an automated fire and explosion suppression system, an all digital fire control system able to handle new ammunition types and an improved turret with flat titanium or tungsten armor. Coming to the K2 tanks, the K2NO Black Panther tank weighs around 61.5 tons with a 1500 horsepower diesel engine. The tank is equipped with a 120mm cannon with a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun. The crew of the tank consists of three people. In addition, the tank is equipped with a remotely controlled weapon station with a 12.7mm machine gun. A big plus in favour of the K2NO is its operation at low temperatures. It also has increased security due to the ballistic package and dynamic protection. The K2NO Black Panther is installed with the Israeli Trophy Active Protection System for testing in Norway. Moving ahead, the K2 is equipped with an advanced fire control system which is linked to an extremely high frequency radar system deployed on the frontal arc of the turret along with a, a traditional laser rangefinder and crosswind sensor. The system is capable of a lock-on mode which can acquire and track specific targets up to a range of 9.8 km using a thermographic camera. This allows the crew to fire accurately while moving as well as engage low-flying aircrafts. The K2's primary anti-tank munition is an indigenously developed improved tungsten K279 APF SDST. For attacking unhardened targets, the K2 can use a multi-purpose K280 heat MPT chemical energy round similar to the United States M830A1 heat MPT, providing good offensive capabilities against personal, unarmored and lightly armored vehicles on the ground as well as low-flying helicopters. 
Now the frontal armor has been claimed to be effective against the 120mm APF SDS round fired from the L55 gun. Explosive reactive armor blocks are also present with the addition of non-explosive reactive armor planned for the K2 PIP that is production improvement program version. The millimeter band radar system mounted on the turret is capable of operating as a missile approach warning system. The vehicle's computer in turn can triangulate incoming projectiles, immediately warn the vehicle crew and fire off visual and infrared screening smoke grenades which can effectively block optical, infrared and radar signatures. Once the hard kill AMS is installed, the radar system will also be responsible for tracking and targeting the incoming missiles for the AMS.